In this video you will learn how to triturate oxalic acid with the help of any OH solution. Hello guys, welcome to our YouTube channel Source of Scales. Please like and subscribe our channel for informative videos. The required apparatus and chemicals include a conical flask, an oxalic acid of 0.1 molarity, phenolphthalein indicator of 1%, a pipette of 50 milliliters, an iron stand, a burette of 50 milliliters, a funnel, sample solution of NaOH which is 50 milliliters, a magnetic stirrer, a magnetic bar, and a dropper. First of all, take a conical flask and you have to add oxalic acid into it. You can add oxalic acid into conical flask with the help of a pipette. Now pipette out 5 milliliters of oxalic acid and put it into the conical flask. Now add phenolphthalein indicator of 1% into the conical flask. You can add with the help of a dropper. Add 2 drops, the color will remain same. Now take iron stand and put burette on it. Put funnel on the top of the burette. Now start adding NaOH sample solution with the help of funnel into the burette. Fill the NaOH solution up to the zero point. Now put magnetic stirrer and add magnetic bar into the conical flask. Put this conical flask onto the magnetic stirrer. Now adjust your RPMs. Now start adding NaOH solution dropwise. You have to stop the burette when the color start turning into pink. Stop the burette and note down the reading of NaOH used which is 10 milliliters. The reaction between oxalic acid and NaOH is as follows. Oxalic acid, which is an acid, react with NaOH, which is a base, and we get salt and water. Sodium oxalate, which is the salt of oxalic acid, plus 4 molecules of water. Let's start calculations. Formula to find out NaOH concentration is as follows. M1V1 divided by N1 is equal to M2. V2 divided by N2 M1 is the molarity of unknown NaOH solution V1 is the volume of NaOH solution used which is 10 milliliters N1 is the number of moles of NaOH which is 2 moles we got it from the reaction you can see we use 2 moles of NaOH in this reaction M2 is the molarity of oxalic acid which we know is 0.1 molar V2 is the volume of oxalic acid which is 5 milliliters and 2 is the number of moles of oxalic acid which is 1 mole. We also got that from the reaction. You can see 1 mole of oxalic acid is used. Now rearrange the formula is M1 is equal to N1 divided by N2 multiplied by M2V2 divided by M1. We put the values and we get our molarity as 0.1 molar. Please like and subscribe our channel for more informative videos. Thank you.